Praise the Lord, everybody. I'm coming with today's word. Welcome to God is Speaking. Today, we're going to go to the end of the Bible in Revelation chapter 2. I want to talk about something that we can relate to our own relationships as we look at one of these letters to the churches. It says in verse 1, unto the angel of the church of Ephesus, write, these things saith he that holdeth the seven stars in his right hand, who walks in the midst of the seven golden candlesticks. I know thy works and thy labor and thy patience, and how thou canst not bear them which are evil. And thou hast tried them which say they are apostles and are not, and hast found them liars, and hast borne and has patience, and for my name's sake has labored and has not fainted. Nevertheless, I have somewhat against thee, because thou hast left thy first love. I want us to look at this because uh, this letter is saying, listen to the church. I see all your works. I see all the things that you're doing. These are great things. Like, you know, I know your works, your labor, your patience. You know, you see the apostles that are, you know, that are um, that are not apostles. You you found that they're liars. You you know, you you're patient. You're, it, it says, and for my name's sake, you've labored. You know, and 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 you've not fainted. You haven't given up. You haven't quit. And so oftentimes we see, you know, I'm doing this and I'm doing that. And I haven't given up. And I, you know, and I, I've been faithful in, in in my deeds. But I want us to look at this. This relationship as we would look at say a marriage is that people can come together you know they they love one another they're they're committed to one another and they do things that are you know special for one another they spend time with one another talking to see what's going on with the other one's day care about you know what's hurting and what's you know what they need and all these different things but then after a while um, people can get so stagnant and so comfortable that, you know, it's just about, okay, I got to cook the meals. I got to clean the house. I got to go to work. We have to pay the bills. We have to take care of the kids. We have to, you know, go to the doctor. We have to do this. We have to do that. And we're going through chores and we're going through, it's time to take the car to the shop. It's time to do this. And you're going through everyday task. And so the household is being taken care of, but the relationship is not. And this is what I want us to look at here is that this letter that's going to the churches, they're doing the work, but their relationship with the with the Lord is not the same. He says, nevertheless, I have somewhat against thee because thou was left thy first love. And so this is what happens is that you can get so caught up in the task and the work and the everyday routine and get caught up in the things that we're doing that we forget about the relationship and and our um, our faith that this this commitment to God is all about relationship. We have to have relationship with the Lord, just as we have to have relationship with other people in order for things to work. It can't just be about task all the time, but it has to be about building on the relationship, spending time together, talking together, you know, um, listening. And so this is what, um, what I wanted us to focus on today, because some may have left their first love. So maybe some of you have been caught up in the task. You've been super busy, maybe with, um, with ministry, maybe with your household, things that you prayed for that are consuming your time, things that you're doing just to think that, that maybe I'm trying to stay afloat. So I have two or three jobs because I'm trying to pay bills or, you know, or I got a family member that I'm taking care of, or I'm worried about this, or I'm doing this for the kids, or, you know, different things that, that consume us in our everyday life that we think are good things. These are things I'm supposed to be doing. These are things, you know, that, that are required of me. But the fact is, is that God has to be first. He's a jealous God. We have to have a relationship with the Lord. We have to have a relationship with Jesus Christ. And this is what it's all about, because when we do, everything else begins to fall in order. If you have needs, you know, God is able to supply those needs. We don't have have to work four jobs and not have time to spend with him. You can't just go about doing church work and never have time to study the word. You can't go about doing things you think are good, but you don't have time to pray. God wants to spend time with us. We have to have relationship. In building the relationship, everything else begins to fall in order. How do I know? Because the word says so. That's why Jesus tells us about worrying in Matthew chapter 6 and then in verse 33. He says, seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all other things shall be added unto you. Everything that we need, God has. Things we need to know, God already knows. God is able to give us spiritual discernment, revelation, knowledge, clarity. And when we are just doing things, we're no longer surrendered to the move of the Holy Spirit. We're not moving after the spirit, but after the flesh. This opens us up to fall into temptation, to drift away from the faith. Because when we're led by the spirit of God, we don't forget our first love. We don't lose or leave 
leave our first love because being led by the Spirit of God is always going to keep us focused on God. And being focused on God is going to cause us to be led by the Holy Spirit. So I encourage you today. If you realize that you've been so busy, that you've left your first love, that you've turned away from God, that you have, if it, not that you're not serving him and don't love him, but you're not spending time with him like you used to. You're not reading like you used to, praying like you used to, praising like you used to. You're not listening like you used to. You don't have that quiet time with him like you used to. You're not fasting like you used to. Then this is the time for us to go back and reevaluate our relationship. Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord God, help us to draw near to you that you draw near to us according to your word. We know that Jesus died that we may have life, but Father, we know that that life is hid with Christ in you, that we're to walk after the spirit and not after the flesh, to be yielded vessels unto you, open for the move of the spirit of God to lead us and guide us in the things you call for us. So help us, Lord God, if we've turned away from you, if we've distanced ourselves from our relationship with you, help us, Lord God, to come back, help us to draw back and see where we fell off and help us to focus, to prioritize and know that you are first and there's no other. And so, Father, we love and honor and praise you today and we thank you for relationship that you so loved us that you sent your son to die that we may have life and have it more abundantly and eternally. So, Father, we thank you, praise, love and honor you in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you. God bless you. Please hit the subscribe button and the notification uh, button uh, bell below if you want notifications when I upload videos. I would love for us to stay connected. If you've already done so, God bless you. I thank God for our connection and I thank God that we are building on this word, getting the word in us so we can walk in the word. Don't forget I have the wow movement. Uh, you see the prayer wall behind me. We are watchmen on the wall intercessors. We meet Monday through Friday, 6 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. We pray. Please join us um, on Facebook Live, Tony Brooke Brown, or on Instagram Live, Pastor Tony Brown. We would love for you to be a part as we come together and believe God because God is able to do all things. And so we trust him for all things and we believe him for healing, for, uh, for open doors, for provision, for the unsaved to become saved, backslidden to come back, for our nation, for the leadership, incarcerated, the homeless, uh, those that are hurting, those that are broken. We believe God is able. We are believing for families, for our youth, for the elderly. So please join us again Monday through Friday, 6 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Please share this message with 5, 10, 15 people that may benefit from it. But please, most of all, please share the gospel with somebody who's unsaved. Reach out a helping hand to somebody who's down. God wants to use you as a vessel, as an instrument of righteousness unto him. God bless you, and I'll see you next time.